Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope everyone's doing well. Back again with the Zebra guitar and uh, kind of had a little bit of a brainstorm last night before I went to bed and uh, decided to put it into action. Stay tuned. So I was thinking, how would I incorporate the fretboard with the body and the headstock without dying the fretboard in general? Watch this. So you kind of see where I'm going with this, don't you? All right, so what I've got here is a very small routing bit in the Dremel. And then this sleeve here is really nice for doing like small detail work. So if I put a pointed one inside here, I can do some scrolling or wood carving you know it's really nice to uh, be able to have the freedom to use this however you want to use it I also have a pencil that goes on this so you'll hang the Dremel up and you put on the pencil attachment and it's got a long line on it with a like a pencil that's what I'm going to be using on the headstock Alright, so I just got done vacuuming up the mess that was over here, and the reason why I ended up cutting these things a little bit deeper is because the original inlay was only about a sixteenth of an inch deep. And to me, sixteenth of an inch as far as trying to pour um, an epoxy resin isn't a lot. And sometimes you may have a problem with the epoxy resin not curing properly because it's so thin. So what I ended up doing is now it's about double that, two sixteenths of an inch, if not maybe a little bit deeper, uh, not going through the fretboard so you don't see the truss rod coming out anywhere. That's going to make this cure a little bit better and hopefully hard enough uh, within 24 hours or so that I can start doing a radius sanding over it and uh, get it nice and flush with the fretboard. All right, so right now we have a little bit of an unboxing break. So I'm going to start to unbox some stuff here. I'm not too sure of everything that I picked up, if it's all here or not, but we're going to find out. All right, so this is... All right, these are some fine tips that go onto the CA glue bottles and hopefully these will fit. Kind of need those. Need those pretty bad. Next we have a bag. All right, so like I said, I picked up some dies here. Three pecks to be exact. 
this stuff works really, really well. Never had a problem with it. There are different uh, colors inside of here, and uh, it's enough to get quite a bit done. So this is. All right. Oh yeah. The fret wire came. Well, it looks like there's more than twenty here. 24 looks like there's more pre-cut you're going to need to be trimmed that's for sure but that came so that's cool by the shape of this one I can kind of tell what this one is yep I was right 12 inch radius block just what I need add it to my collection all right so we have a stumac box here and where do they have this thing where I can open it Alright, so inside here we have another box. Alright, so this is the nipping tool. The Stumac nipping tool for doing the uh boy it feels well, for 60 bucks it sure doesn't feel like it's much. So this is for nipping the tangs underneath the Frets. And what else do I got here? All right, so this, by the way, it looks as a tremolo. Did I cut myself? Nope. Too bad. Oh yeah. This here is a roller tremolo. Okay, nice. Got all the hardware to go with it. Whammy bar. Just in case I got another strat style guitar that I need to replace a tremolo on. Place it with a roller. Now for the big box. It's like Christmas over here, man. Oh, just what I thought it was. All right, check this out. Oh, this one's got some weight to it compared to its little brother. So. right side up? Nope, I know. So this is the little brother and this is the big brother. And the only real difference I could see on it is this has got a preset on it and it also has a tuner. Um, got your monitor, got your headphones, got your uh, master out, and then you have your gang here for the guitar which is right here on this one. And this one here has your uh, Z zone. So let's see what all came with this thing. Hopefully he has everything in here. So we have a box with what? What's in this? What's in this? Is this sealed? All right, so you have all your instructions. That's kind of nice. Guy saved all that. And like I said, I got this used and I got it for 180 bucks, which was less than the solo. And the guy said that he really never used this thing. By the way, it looks, it's like fucking brand new. This is kind of nice. Really nice. Does it have the power supply and stuff inside here? Oh yeah, I can feel it. Oh yeah, power supply is all in here. Everything's in here. It's nice. So this will probably be going in 
the workshop and the other one will be going into the play area or playing area or whatever you want to call it. And I still have a few more tools coming and a few more parts coming. So hopefully that'll be here during the week sometime. What happened here? There you go. All right, so I gotta get, get to installing this thing and removing the Line 6 AUX. All right, Christmas time. 